Chacho Bella. Welcome to Bella Uncinetto. I'm Christina and I'm so glad that you're with me today. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. My sincere apologies for there not being a video on Monday. I did get a couple of emails asking where I was and what was going on. Uh, it was a busy weekend for me. Um, I was in a little bit of a car accident. I'm okay, my daughter's okay. The car is drivable, which is good. <laughs> um, but that led to a lot of things happening um, Saturday and then Sunday I had uh, another tour with MWR and uh, that took my whole day, which I didn't think it would. Uh, and then Monday I was dealing with insurance companies and inspections and all of that. So, um, apologies. I, that's all I can do, right? Uh, but today I have something very exciting for you. I have this lovely package here. Now, I don't know how long this package is going to take me and I have nine minutes of recording time so I may have to do this in parts it may um, cut out for you for a moment but this package is from the amazing Jill at fiber floozy crafts uh, and she sent this to me in response to an email that I had sent out. So if you remember, I um, am going to start teaching some crochet classes. And I sent uh, some messages out and some uh, messages in some groups that I'm in asking if anyone would be willing to donate some yarn. And Jill, without hesitation, said, absolutely, I'm de-stashing, I have stuff I can send. So, trying to open this without, like, showing addresses, but also, I know there's yarn in here, so I don't want to cut it up. So, apologies, I did not open it beforehand, because, oh, look at her, she thought of everything. She was like, she's going to cut into this. And look at what she did, you guys. <laughs> it's double wrapped. Okay. I was trying to be super careful, and I didn't have to be that careful. But that's okay. So, I have no idea what's in here. I mean, I kind of gave her some specifications, like I said, but I have no idea what's in here. So, uh, this is going to be used to help people learn how to crochet. Give you guys a peek. You can see what's in there. Lots of stuff. Oh, and another bag. Yay. Oh, wow. Jill. Woohoo. This is awesome. Okay. So, oh, wow. These aren't scraps. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So, what do we got in here? go for this first because it's open this or not open this is squirrel wire one two three four five hanks and it's 100 percent polyester uh 75 grams machine washable uh low iron you can dry clean do not bleach. I'm trying to see if it gave any other information, but it doesn't. That's cool. That's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, what else do we have in here? This is also packaged. This is Ishu Fang or Shishu Fang. Hand dyed milk cotton or fancy dyed milk cotton velvet. Cool. Um, it's a five ply 
You can use a 3.75 millimeter set of needles or 4.5 to 5.5 millimeter set of hooks. Um, trying to get, I just have to open it because I can't get it. Ooh, it's really soft too. I'm trying to see if I can get any kind of specs off of it. It says it's a five weight. Um, no, it doesn't tell you how much. It's 48 grams plus or minus three. So uh, about a 50 gram ball. I have three of those. Look at that. That would be cool. It's like a rainbowy color. Those are all new. Oh my goodness, too. Okay. And then the rest of these appear to be straps in various forms. So this one has a label. Looks like it's a semi-used big twist. Living in the colorway orange. It's a medium four weight. Look at that. And that is like hunter orange. That is bright, bright orange. Awesome. This is also a big twist living in community. I like those colors there. I'm trying to find stuff with labels on it. Oh, here's a Gazal Rock and Roll. 50 grams, 115 meters, or 125 yards. 21% uh, acrylic, 70% polyamide, 9% merino. Whoa, look at that. That is like silvery, shiny, pretty stuff. All right. Oh, that's heavy. I don't know what that is. Oh, she put labels in them. Look at that. This is Heartland Tweed and Mount Rainier Tweed. That's cool. I like those flecks in there. Awesome. <clears throat> this one doesn't have a ball band in it, but it is super cool. It's just tied together with that black yarn. Awesome. And then we've got this one is Red Heart Reflective and the colorway gray. Cool, cool. Uh, what is this? It's a crochet hook in there. Ah! <laughs> it's a teeny tiny one, but it's stuck in there. Okay. This is Loops and Threads Facets. Pretty colors. This is a ooh, teeny tiny 12 boy hook. That looks like it's for thread. Look at that. That is, woo, it disappears. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And then we've got some other solid colors here. Let's see. Oh, I don't know where that came out of. I love this. This is amazing. This will be so helpful, Jill. Thank you so much. This looks like another reflective, maybe. I don't know. Um, this must go with this. And then there's some more. Uh, Red Heart. And Mary Maxims. Oh, I love these solid colors. These are truly, truly going to be helpful so that people can see what they're stitching. Right? And then we've got... These yarns here, look at that. This is so awesome. And then there's something else in the bag, but I'm gonna pause the video so that I can, um, cause I'm gonna run out of time. Okay, and I'll come back, back and show you what else Quick is in the bag. Quick second for you, Thank but you so a much, little Jill. bit of time for I'll me. I'll be right back, you guys. So the heavy okay. part of this was this a lovely bag. And this is a set, well not a set, but a bag of hooks. So, there are so many in here. I'm not necessarily going to go through all of them, 
but this is amazing. Now you guys know I did buy, where's that tiny one? I'm gonna put this tiny one in here so I don't lose it. Um, I did buy a whole lot of hooks for my, you know, on my own, but I did ask um, if anyone has any hooks they would like to send. That would be great too because I'm gonna be teaching so I want them to be able to use things but then I want them to be able to take a scrap ball home or um, you know a hook home so the more hooks that I have that I can give out and freely give out the better um, so that's what I'm looking for with regards to um, hooks and they these are fine these aluminum ones <clears throat> or even like these little plastic ones this is fine as long as they can tell the size and they know what they're crocheting with I love it so there's some really really tiny ones in here and then there are some boy hooks there's a hero hook in here um, the boy that I have is a 4.25 the hero is an H uh, this is an ergonomic hook that's a boy uh, four millimeter this one this is a teeny tiny one again probably something for thread let me get back in here this is just chill I am blown away this is wow so many <laughs> I don't want to drop them uh, and then there's some smaller ones here these look to be like, uh, oh my goodness, it's hard to read. That uh, is a size four. Some other really tiny ones. This one is a boy size D. This one is a six millimeter. So this is the six millimeter, the green one. And then this is a four millimeter here, the silver one. And then this is the boy, oh, see, I dropped it. This is the D. Uh, and then there's these smaller ones here. And then the blue one is, mm, so it's an Oxmoor house, size G. Okay, and that one is like a raised, the blue, the last one I just showed you. And then I'm going to take out some of these smaller ones because these are ones that I'm going to use maybe for my intermediate class if we're making something specific and we need a smaller hook. Um, so... There's that. Oh, there's this giant one. This is a 10 millimeter, an N. That's awesome. Let's see. I don't want to take up too much of your time, you guys. This is an H. Boy, this is an ergonomic one as well. This one here. It's kind of hard to see it, but it's, it's there. Again, I'm gonna take out some of these smaller ones because those are ones that I can't use right now with the class I'm teaching, but I can maybe use them later if we're doing smaller things for because these are tiny. These look like ones that my beast Nona would use. Really, really tiny. Oh, here's another Hero J. It says Hero on it. A Boy G. A Hero E. So the gold is the boy and the green is the hero. there. Ah. 
Um, and then we've got a 5.5, .5, a G, a G, I don't know what that one is. See, that's what I didn't want to do. <laughs> Dropped it right into my couch, but I caught it. This one is, this one is a 3.5. Yep. And then we've got another Hero K. Another hero H, another hero G. Back o day, you want some hero looks? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna give them to her, but I know that she collects them. She probably got so many. Um, these are. I don't know what this one is. These two, I can't tell what they are. Can't tell. I would have to use a size, a sizer on those. I can't tell what those are. But these are the ones that I was just reading off. So there's several hero hooks in here, some boy hooks, um, a couple of Oxmoor, another Oxmoor house hook. These are so fantastic. Mm, so, woo, that's teeny tiny. Look at that one. <laughs> And then this is a 3.25. Ooh, it's a pretty purple. It's a 3.75. Pretty purple. Another hero. This is an eye. This is a boy five. So this is the hero and this is the boy. This is a boy 3.25. I love that blue color. Ooh. This is a size 10 and a half or K. This is a size 5 or F. Boy, this is a hero F. This is worn off. This is a boy. Looks like a, it says J, I think. That's kind of, I don't know if you, that's going to focus for you guys. Really hard for me to see. Uh, this is a boy E. And then this one is a nine, a boy nine. Um, put those back to the bag. Oh, I already read that one off. I read that one off. Okay, I just have these two left. This is the boy I, and this is a boy eight or H. So this is the I, and this is the eight or H. Wow, chill. Look at that, you guys. I am set for teaching. This is fantastic. I am so grateful to you, Jill, to Marianne for sending in some hooks and yarn. Um, I know that there are another couple of people that are sending things in. I don't want to. I don't want to name them. Um, uh, I'll do a video when their stuff comes in. But I know that they are already sending me things, so that their stuff is coming in. Um, they said they were going to put some stuff in with it. So. Um, I am very, very happy to have all of that. You guys, this means the absolute world to me that I am going to be able to freely give these things to people so that they can learn whether or not they love to crochet like we do or love yarn. Maybe crochet isn't for them, but maybe they have hey the yarn. Hey, sorry. I was not paying attention to the time. Maybe they're not doing like craft with it or something if they I don't, don't really like crochet. But, but that's okay. So, um... I'm just grateful that the yarn is going to be used, right? So um, I'm able to continue using it even if someone was going to throw it away or uh, get rid of it, uh, de-stash it, however you were going to do it. Um, not that anybody who sent me anything or is sending me something was going to throw it away. Just it is repurposed and it's going to be repurposed in a way that will be useful 
to someone else. And I think that that is amazing. And I am just so grateful to have some of you who are willing to share the wealth um, and also send it to me. So, I mean, if you can't send it to me, that is absolutely completely fine. Shipping is ridiculous right now and it's only getting worse. But if you can donate to a local church group or um, a local uh, shelter for, you know, things for people to do, try to do something like that. Um, you know, there are all kinds of ways that you can take yarn that you know you're not going to use and give it to someone. Uh, and that's what I'm I'm trying to do with this. I'm teaching the classes, but also sharing the wealth that we all have that we can um, get others involved in this craft that we love so much. So with that, I will let you go. And I hope that you are all doing well and keeping warm or cool or dry or whatever it is you need to be. And I hope that you're all having an amazing day. Be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. Till bella.